2019, what are the best value enduro e-bikes on the market? Not the cheapest, the best value. Welcome back to the Channel Riders. I'm in a little town in the south of Portugal called Sins on holidays. Anyway, I'm still working because I want to bring you my next video for the week. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my campsite. I'm going to show you where I'm staying. Uh, we've got our camper van here. As I said, we're in Portugal. Um, and uh, I thought, you know, mountain bikers kind of like the outdoor lifestyle and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you my camper van and then we'll get to my top five picks. And we're back at the camper van. And uh, look, I will give you a quick tour of the van, but let's, let's get into this first. If you're thinking about buying an e-enduro bike, um, there's loads of things to research and what motor to get, what brand, you know, there's, there seems to be a bike dropping every week at the moment. And uh, as you guys know, if you've been watching the channel, I just bought my e-bike and uh, I did loads of geeking out and loads of research. Um, so I thought while I'm on holidays, I would bring you um, my top five picks. And I have to disclaimer, I haven't ridden all these bikes. I've ridden two of these bikes. I've bought one, uh, but the other three on paper look very good. Anyway, let's get to it. Number one is the Merida E160. Not the new one. The new one is 10,000 euros. It looks amazing. I, I don't think everyone's got 10,000 euros to spend. Maybe they do. If you do perfect, it looks like a great bike. But the old E160 has had about a, a 20 to 30% price reduction in the last year or last six months since they released a new one. And at the moment for 5,000 euros, you can get the old E160 that comes with Fox factory suspension, Shimano uh, Steps E8000 motor, which in my opinion is probably the best motor on the market. It comes with Saint four piston brakes and uh, the rest of the spec is, is amazing. It's, in my opinion, it's not the best looking bike and it does have a few years. It was, I think, released in 2016, maybe 17. I think for the money, it's the best value E enduro bike on the market at the moment at 5,000. But if you can find it, that's the problem. It's a very hard bike to find at the moment. Um, so basically, if you can find it, and also if you're a tool rider, um, they only made three sizes, small, medium, and large. And the large, I believe the reach on the large is 460. So if you're a larger guy, like I'm 183, and one of the main reasons I didn't get the Merida is the fit. Uh, I thought it was a little bit too small. Um, but if you can find it and you're a shorter rider, I think it's definitely very, very good value for money. And number two, the YT decoy. It's the bike I just bought. I know, if you watch the channel, if you haven't been watching the channel, I will link a few videos at the bottom. Um, the YT decoy comes in three models. It starts at 4,600 euros and goes all the way to 6,600 euros. And what are you getting for that? Base model, you're getting carbon mainframe, aluminium rear triangle. Uh, it comes in a mullet setup. So 29 at the front, 27 at the back. Uh, e 8000 Shimano motor it, it comes with YT's own battery 540 watts a little bit more than Shimano and if I'm honest that that was something that made me nervous um, YT making their own battery what happens if they don't continue making this bike or there's a problem with the battery um, but YT are saying they they are working on releasing a 700 watt battery this year anyone that has bought the the decoy before prior to releasing the 700 watt battery they'll be getting it at a nice discount and i would say you buy that battery between 400 600 euros more or less um i got i bought this bike and it is a banger man it's such a great bike so much fun um i'm away on holidays and i just want to i want to go home and ride my bike um okay number three Propane Econo, I think is how the Germans say it. Um, it's a 165 travel uh, e-enduro mountain bike, like the rest of them. Um, it's a Ger If anyone doesn't know anything about propane, it's a German uh, direct-to-consumer company. 
Uh, they make some very aggressive enduro bikes and downhill bikes. I really like the company. They make the Spin Drift, which I was very close to buying. Really like that bike. Um, and if you know anything about propane, you'd be surprised that they're not using their signature, what's it, the signature Pro 10 suspension platform. All their bikes have this suspension platform. But obviously, it, the motor must have gotten away and they have gone for something that looks pretty similar to DW Link system. It looks kind of similar, very similar in fact. So I'm sure it's gonna have a great ride. Um, you know, with Propane, it's a very interesting company. I, I, I really like it and it's a lot of fun. If you go on their website, you can actually pick and choose every part of the bike. Um, one of the main reasons I didn't go for the Propane was one, the lead time. Was, I think when I was looking at it, it was saying October, November. Um, this could have changed because I, I bought my bike six weeks ago. Um, the lead time and also like, when you can pick all your parts, so it's like it's like making a dream bike. Uh, the prices are very reasonable as well. 5,000 euros more or less for my, not dream bike, but with a good spec bike. But when you're making a dream bike, you want all your dream parts. And for me, I think it's a little bit, I don't really understand why Propane have left out Shimano brakes because it's Shimano and it's SRAM are probably the world leaders in brakes or the most popular brakes on the market and they sell Magura and SRAM but they don't sell Shimano which is for me is a, is a mistake and also they only sell Schwabe tires they only it, that's the only build you can do Magic Mary's are great but I'm more of a minion guy um, so I would have liked to have seen them have you know if you're gonna dream bike dream parts uh, but it is a great bike it's definitely worth checking out and the website's a lot of fun just go and have a play Okay, as promised, in between these best bikes of 2019-20, I'm gonna show you my camper van setup. I have a little studio here at the moment, it's pretty ghetto, but I also have my GoPro. So we're gonna switch over to the GoPro and I'm gonna open it up a little bit. So I bought, well, we bought, let's get that. We bought the Ford Transit. Let's get outside. Say hello, Bea. She's a little bit shy. We bought the Ford Transit uh, about six years ago. It is a 2001. Um, it was a, a mix, so it was a, a sort of industrial van and also you could have passengers in the back. So we bought it semi-fitted out um, and we changed the floor. It's quite nice. Put a new battery, uh, I put a new fridge in and all in here is our charging bay and uh, i'm quite proud of all this you can see down there that's our second battery and uh, it's all set up to a solar system that's our fuse box this is our inverter our very expensive great fridge which is really nice great to keep everything cold um, and uh, this is our sink here and we went for a world theme on the uh, on the sofa here. There's Australia, guys, if you want to see that. Um, and uh, this actually turns into a bed, very comfortable. It's actually two meters long, so I fit in it perfectly. We have a bit of food in here. Uh, there we go. And at the back, you can't really see it that well. When these open up at the back, we have an outside shower and I'll just show you a little bit where we are. So as I said, we're in the south of Portugal. This is our setup. So we're camping with a few friends. This is our kitchen here, our hammock and the lovely toilet. And we also have an office here with Bea working. Say hello again, Bea. And our friends Caravan, unfortunately the bike didn't make it on this trip. Uh, we just didn't have enough space, but our friend's bikes, look at those killer bikes. Friend's side, and I will mention, just as I go back in, this camper van, we have done uh, about 25,000 Ks in the van over five years. Um, and when we go traveling, underneath the bed here is enough space 
for a mountain bike and I normally keep the mountain bike with the wheels off and stored inside the van. Anyone that's traveling with a very expensive mountain bike will know that it's no fun leaving it outside the car. Anyway, that's the van. That's our van life. Check it out. Number four, the Commensal Metapower SX. Jeez, that's a mouthful, man. Um, it's a new bike, 2024 Commensal. I'm not sure on availability. Um, I would imagine uh, later in the year, early next year, uh, they're making one model only. Um, it's it's 180 up front, 170 at the back, running on 27 uh, wheels, and it's, it looks like a downhill beast. The new commensal bikes are looking really good. They were having rear triangles of, what have I got here, of 454. Um, I'm really happy to see they've dropped that to four, what are we saying, 444. Um, for me, an e-bike's already super planted. Um, I don't need a long rear end. I mean, it makes the bike just feel more, definitely more secure on on those straight straight runs. But in the corners, it just feels more sluggish. So I'm really happy to see Commensal changing that. I think it's going to be a very playful bike. It looks pretty much like a, a shuttle monster. Um, the, they're making a one build, killer build. It's going to come with uh, Lyric Ultimates RC2s and a deluxe coil on the back. So, you know, look out. That's, uh, I'd be very interested to try this bike. I think it'd be a lot of fun. And number five, the last one, Specialized Knievel Expert. You know, and I'm, I'm definitely in this basket. Uh, Specialized make great bikes, but I wouldn't actually say they're great value. Um, they are expensive bikes and they, they make great products. Normally the builds aren't the best. I mean, if you go for the S-Works, the top level they are. But well, you're talking like 10, 12,000 euros for these bikes. They're a lot of money. So I kind of, I don't really look at them that much. I know they're great bikes, but I mean, I'm a poor photographer in Spain, you know, like uh, I don't normally look at those products, but um, you know, the Kinevo for the last couple of years, I would say it was the Merida E160, in my opinion, and the Kinevo were the benchmark super enduro e-mountain bikes uh, for 2016, 17, 18, um, and even still now, classic bike. It is showing its age, it has a few years, uh, but I had a look, you can pick up the expert Knievel for 5,000 euros in Spain. Um, and what are you getting with that? It's a soup, it's a beast. It's 180 front and back, 27 plus tires. Um, you're getting Lyric RCT3s. You're getting a Owens Mule coil shock and SRAM code brakes. You know, I think it's had a price drop, but for five grand, I mean, you're getting aluminum frame. For me, aluminum carbon is really, what are you losing? 300 grams on a 24 kilo bike? It's, Really, it's not it's not a it's not a deal breaker for me at all. You know, as I said, it is it is a reasonably old bike now, and I would imagine in the next 18 months we're going to get a replacement of the Kinevo. Um, but uh, yesterday or the day before uh, making this video, Specialized just to drop their new Enduro 29er for 2020. I'd have to say it looks pretty similar to the Mega Tower, but it looks like a great bike. Um, and I don't think there's enough room uh, in this frame design for a motor. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it. So in that in that suspension setup, um, so maybe we're not going to see a Kinevo in 2020 in their new lineup. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But even though if we do, it's still at five grand, it's a great bike, great bike. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, in the last month, we've had a mental growth in the channel. Is you know I am maybe more specializing in e-bikes, but I, I am really loving learning this whole new thing. We had 10,000 views this month, and we only have 306 subscribers. So riders, can you please just click that subscribe button? It will take one second, and I would really appreciate it. It's a lot of work, these videos, and uh, I love doing it, you know, and, and but I would love it if you could subscribe, that'd be great. If you have any questions about e-mountain bikes, normal bikes, riding, Spain, uh, Spanish wine, whatever, 
hit me up, man. I um, I reply to everyone. Um, I love the YouTube community. It's great. Uh, everyone's super nice, and uh, I think I've helped a few people buy buy some e-bikes. And uh, but you know, I I'm I'm a mountain bike geek, probably like you guys, and I love it. I can talk about bikes for days. Thumbs up. Remember, riders, it's not the bike, it's the rider. Always keep riding and have fun out there. See you next time. Thank you.